Cristiano, great to have you with us on BT Sport. Let's talk about the movie. It's being billed as Ronaldo the man, Ronaldo the person. What impression do you think people will have of you once they watch the film? To be honest, I'm not worried about the impression you're going to have about me because it's such a natural movie that I was not thinking about that. Of course, we're always thinking to give a good image, but when you will see the movie, you will see that it's so natural because I'm not an actor. I don't know how to, I don't know how to act. So I think at the end of the day, I think the, the, the result it was great. We see a lot of your early life um, and we hear a lot about that. How difficult was it to cope with being away from home at such a young age but still remain focused on your football? I'm always say it was uh, the uh, toughest time in my life. It was when I left my family with 11 uh, years old to live in a different world, which is Lisbon, in the same country, but it looked like it's a, a different part of the world. Uh, I was cry uh, almost every day to miss my family, but I'm not I'm not regret uh, because it was probably the more intense more intense moments uh, in my life that I that I, li I lived through. So without sacrifice, we cannot uh, win nothing. So I did a, a unbelievable sacrifice, my family too, and I think it was uh, I think I have I did a good option. When you had those tough times, could you ever have imagined being in the place that you are today? Oh, of course no, um, of course no. But I always, I always thinking, when I take that decision, I will be a professional player. I will be something in football. This is I feel, because I, I was feeling from the beginning that I was different than the other ones. Um, I was more special. I was a special kid. Uh, if you can speak m with uh, my coaches, my friends, my teammates, everyone see that I was special. At that time, even with um, 15 years old, 16 years old, at that time he was, uh, he is at the moment, everybody knows uh, that he is the best, uh, the best player in the world, the best ever. But at that time, with his age, he, he, he was the best the best player in the world, the best ever, because with that age, nobody could do what, uh, what he was doing. It was something unbelievable. Something we re that really comes across in the movie is um, it's a very nice side to you, actually. We see you with a very strong bond with your son. How has fatherhood changed you? Well, changed everything. You know, to have Cristiano in a, in a family, one member in a, in a family, a person who have your, your blood, it's... It's unbelievable. It's it's a great feeling because I always dreaming to have a a kid young. Uh, I had with 25, uh, and to have Cristiano to follow his father, to see uh, his father in TV, in life, to play football, and want to be like me. For me, it's it's kind of a dream. Are you surprised by? some of the top-level sports journalists still working in, the, in this industry who write about you, yet they still have some negative perceptions of you because they still don't really know you. It's part of the business. I have to respect that. They have to sell. They have to make money. It's normal. It's part of the business. So I respect that. But these people, they are not my friends. So it's normal. Maybe in the beginning I was worried, people who speak bad. Uh, but now this is not... Um, interfere in my, the way I see the, the football, my life, personal life or, or professional life. For me, this is, doesn't, doesn't matter anymore. In England, there's often a sense that players are given a hard time by journalists, but also by pundits, so often fellow professionals. Do you think they have the right to criticise you and be critical of your performances? Of course. I think it's... What I respect more the people is they criticize me about my job. This is our respect. And the people should do that because they are his jobs to do an analysis of, about what they see. I'm used uh, to be criticized many years uh, and I know to live with that. For me, it's not um, a problem anymore. Uh, I live with that comfortable. Looking over your career, what would you say was your greatest performance? A greatest performance, oh, it's tough, it's tough. I prefer to say a year, 
uh, probably the last two years, last year, when we win the Champions League here in Madrid. But I have so, so, so many great moments, thanks God, not just here, but in Manchester too, when we win the Champions League, the Cups, the League, when I win the Golden Ball, Golden Boots, here in Real Madrid, I did the same and I win the same. It's hard to say a specific a moment. I had so great moments in my in my career so far that it's it's not will be fair to mention only one. I have to mention many years. The last eight years, in my uh, point of view, it was amazing, and to be in a top level eight years is not easy. It's not for everyone. It's it's hard. Okay, so what's been the most disappointing moment of your career? Disappointing. It's kind of the same. When we lost the finals, Champions League or Cups, uh, when you lost the, you know, big competitions, when you don't go through uh, in the groups, uh, national team or Real Madrid or whatever, it's, it's the most complicated moments is when you lost. When you lost and when you lost the finals or it's the most uh, hardest moments. But it's part, it's part uh, of the, the job uh, and we have to live with that because it's, it's normal. You've played under some amazing football managers as well. What have you learned from each of them? I learned everything with, I learned uh, many things with uh, everyone. Not only one, but with uh, everyone. I think it's good. And uh, this is make me feel happy because all the coaches that I had, I learned something. So I'm great. Um, I'm a happy person. I'm a lucky person uh, to share uh, my football the way I am, uh, the trainings with these great coaches that I had uh, in the past and now. Someone who's having a bit of a hard time right now is Jose Mourinho. Where on the scale of top football managers, would you rate him? I will put him in the top. I am always say that. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a good coach. He did uh, many good things. He won uh, many trophies for the other clubs, but it's, I don't want to speak about the other coaches because, you know, my coach is now with uh, it's Benitez. Uh, and I'm, I'm comfortable, for sure. We're going to win many things uh, together. And um, I'm happy with that. What would you say are the differences or the main differences between the Premier League and La Liga? For me, in my opinion, it's the best uh, leagues in the world, Spanish and English. Um, I think in England they are more honest players. They are faster and stronger than here. But here they have other points. They are more technique. It's different. Uh, but I think both, it's... It's great. I had the opportunity to play in both, and I'm I'm so happy because I think it's they are great. If you see the in the Champions League, they always uh, Spanish team and English teams in a in a semi-finals, and that it's mean that the football it's it's great. Who do you think are the most exciting young players that are coming through? So you see many players with the potential. For example, I will mention Odegaard, for example of Madrid, F16, still young, but we can see that it's a it's very good player. Uh, Hazard, for example, the number seven of uh, Manchester, Depay, is uh, a good player too. Um, Pogda, maybe. Neymar. I think you have many, many good players, and it's good for the football. Uh, we see you on... Um in the movie when uh, um, Lionel Messi wins his fourth Ballon d'Or, it's, it's evident to see your disappointment in your face. Do you think um, having that rivalry between you has been good for both you and for him? I'm always disappointed when I'm lost. It's, it's normal. I'm always going to be like that. I'm not a fake person. I'm going to hiding when I feel disappointing. But it's... It's not depend on me. For example, in the Golden Ball, don't depend on me. It depends on votes. And votes, you never know what's going to happen. For example, Golden Boot, don't depend on votes. depends on statistics. It's, it's completely different. 
But I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining because I win three times and never uh, thinking that I will win uh, one golden ball. So to win three for me, it's, it's great. Uh, give me great motivation to still work uh, good and hard to achieve more if it's possible. But I'm not uh, worried about that because I think the things is coming uh, natural in a, in a right moment. So I want more and more. I still have many years to play football and I want to win more, more things. And do you think having that intense rivalry makes you a better player? Having someone to, who is constantly compared to you, does that make you more motivated to be even better? But I'm always motivated and I don't need, I don't need other players to motivate myself. But of course, uh, Messi is, is an unbelievable player and maybe in the end of, of me, maybe he pushed me more, harder to be better and better. Probably, yes. You don't need to compare Cristiano with this player or any other player. Cristiano, his motivation, he has always uh, all the, the motivation. He was six years in Man United, he was improving a lot and nobody did like him. He was the best ever in Man United. He is the best ever in Real Madrid. And uh, keeping that performance, it's very difficult. Just a player like Cristiano, uh, just, just Cristiano can do it. I try to be the best professional uh, in my job. I try to be the best all the time. Sometimes it's not possible because, you know, we are human beings and we are not machines. But in my mind, I'm, I'm the best and I work uh, like the best. So this is going to be my, uh, the way I see uh, my life to the end of my life. So this is what I want and what I want to be.